Okay, this is a short tutorial on how to use automation using the virus control plugin for the virus TI. First thing we're going to do, we've got MIDI channel up, it's assigned to our virus TI, and we'll just pick a sound. Let's just draw some in. Okay, um, it's very simple. There are certain um, parameters on the virus that um, are instantly usable. Things like the filter cut off and the frequency. So um, if I go uh, to my virus, I need to have the right button selected. This allows you to write automation. So now if I press record, move the filter cut off and resonance. Okay. Um, you'll see that there's nothing there. The reason it's the reason it's playing like that is because it's remembered the last position of the resonance. If you find the VST instruments track, open it up. Um, come into the virus TI. Click in here, and what we're looking for is the asterisk. Or we can right click and ask it to show used automation. And what it's done is given us the resonance, which is there. And if I go in here, and we find the filter cut off. Okay, so you go to the virus TI track, you find the virus channel, you come down, you look in here, so we go, it's already assigned to filter cut off one and resonance one. Now you can see the automation there, but it's not doing anything because you need to tell it to read the automation. Once you tell it to read the automation, it becomes active. What, you see it working? Okay, that's um, basic automation on the virus, um, virus control. Now, as I said, there's certain um, virus parameters that are instantly usable um, and instantly writable. Again, you just need to click on uh, the little plus sign here, come in here, and there's a whole set of them. Filter resonance, oscillator volume and saturation, etc. But if you want to... Um, automate something that isn't in that list you need to use the soft knobs so the way you use the soft knobs is you bring up the virus control you go to the common button and here you'll see soft knobs um, which are assigned to different things again all you need to do is just bring this down and say we want to control the oscillator one pitch with soft knob one and we don't want a name we'll just call it parameter once you've done that, if you look on your virus, you sh you'll see that you've got um, three buttons um, and just be uh, three knobs just below the little LCD screen. Value one, value two, value three. Value one is soft knob one, value two is soft knob three, etc. And now above one, you will see the words P A the word P A R A, um, which is now assigned to oscillator one pitch. So now. If I come down here, let's just get rid of that because that's not the one we want to see. And if I go back into here, take the read off, put the right on, hit record. That's me using soft knob one to change the pitch of the oscillator. Okay, so now if we go plus, we need to find that automation there, soft knob 1-1, one, one. and you can see it, if I push read, it'll be there. 
So what we've done now is we've automated the filter cutoff, the filter resonance and the pitch. If I want to do soft knob 2, again there's many different ways of doing this, you can just go in and do it straight off like I've done with this one or you can hit the plus come into here find soft knob 2 dot 1 and then do this one find soft knob 3 1 so now if I go into this soft knob 2 hit F11 bring up my virus go to soft knob 2 and say we want to control the ring modulator and again I'm just going to change that to that and with soft knob 3 I want to what can we what can we control? Delay time. I'm just gonna put that back to here. So now I should have if I look on my virus, I've got my value one, two, and three knobs. I've got para 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 written next to them, just for parameter. And um, I'll just take the read button off. And if I go down to soft knob two, hit record. can see it being written in okay so that's ring modulator if I read that I don't want it to read anything else I just want it to read that okay it will read them all you can see the, re the ring modulator being, a being affected there see the ring modulator actually working there you go and then again if we want to use the soft knob, soft knob 3 which is assigned to delay time okay so now if I press record use soft knob 3 of course you can do it with read on and obviously the delay time is related to what delay settings you've got so let me just check the delay settings ok so let's have a look if we go to the effects you see the delay time. The, the, the delay time isn't working at the moment because it's the kind of delay it's set on. So, but you get the idea. You just assign the common knobs to whichever parameter you want, and then draw it in, and that's it. It's done. That's using the virus um, control for um, automation. Cheers.